Oh my goodness, okay, first of all, hi. I hope you liked that cover of Oklahoma by Jack Stauber. Uh, thank you <laughs> for 10,000 subscribers. I don't really know what to say. I guess just thank you for subscribing. I know that 60% of you guys came from my Buttercup cover. So, hi, welcome, my name's Claire. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a terrible, terrible time here. Speaking of the Buttercup cover, it got over a hundred thousand views, which is difficult to wrap my mind around. I didn't really expect anything like that to ever happen to me, uh, but it did. Uh, I didn't really think it was anything special, but you guys seem to really like it. And segue, I've gotten comments every single day all asking me what the chords are. What are the tabs? Where did you get the tabs? Can you do a tutorial? You guys are in luck because I'm doing a tutorial right now because it's pretty freaking simple. <laughs> it's only like three chords. Okay, so I have my baritone ukulele here. This is a baritone ukulele. It's basically a mini guitar. So it's pretty much the last four strings of a guitar. I even decorated it myself with these little stickers. So the chords are very simple. It is just three chords played in different variations throughout the song. That's it. Only three chords. Wow. Those three chords are F major, A minor, and E minor. How do you even play those chords, Claire? Well, I'll tell you. This baritone ukulele, it will have different finger positions uh, based on like the chords and stuff uh, from 
a normal tenor or soprano ukulele. So I'm sorry I'm not going to be showing you guys a tutorial on that, but I mean, it's pretty, it, you can just look up how to play F major, A minor, and E minor on the internet and you will find it. But right now I'm going to show you how to play it on here. F major, you're going to bar the first fret entirely and then put your middle finger on the second string second fret and then your ring finger on the first string third fret to play F major. A minor, you're going to want to put your pointer finger on the third string first fret, your middle finger on the first string second fret, and then your ring finger on the second string second fret. A minor. E minor is very difficult. I'm just warning you right now. Put any finger on the first string second fret. And then you got E minor. I know, it's pretty difficult. I know, it, I, it's okay if you can't really understand. So for the verses, you're gonna just wanna play F major and A minor back and forth. Forget, I'll do it sometime. back and forth. And then for the chorus, you're just going to want to play F major, A minor, E minor, and just repeat that over and over again. That's pretty much it. Very, very simple, very easy. And some people wanted to know how to do the little slide thing. So I put my pointer finger on the fifth, <laughs> pointer finger on the fifth fret, fourth string. I put my middle finger on the second string, fifth fret, and then I put my ring finger on the third string, sixth fret. And then what you're gonna do is just pluck these last three strings and then just slide down. And then immediately go into the F major. So just... The strumming pattern is basically whatever you want it to be. It doesn't really matter. But what I did was basically down, down, up, up, down, up. It's pretty simple. Um, and I added some chucks in between, but that's just a personal choice. You don't have to. So it's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And if you want to add the chucks, got it and I'll tell you where I got these chords from I got these chords from an app called guitar tabs let me get my phones all the way over there I'm not getting it uh, guitar tabs is just an app it's also a website you can go online it's, I think it's just guitartabs.com or whatever but that's pretty much where I get all of my chords for every single cover I've ever done on this channel that's it that's all I really want to say also um, nope that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this cover. I hope you guys found this tutorial sort of helpful. I don't know. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Hopefully they'll be my Japan vlogs. I'm so sorry. I didn't even edit them yet. It's been like three weeks.